now that we've set up our real master software, it's time to actually start putting in our layout. When we initially installed, we set the sample track plan as default when we load real master. But what we want to do is we want to add our own track plan into real master. So to do that, we will need to use the set square icon. And it gives us a grid that we can start putting our track plan down on. Now, this track plan is just a representation of the plan that you actually have. It doesn't deal with distances. And in fact, some in some instances, Real Master will tell us that we need to put more space between items that we put on our track plan because Real Master needs the space to be able to operate properly. An example of that would be a set of points. So we'll just add in a set of points to start with. And I'll show you the message that pops up and what that message actually means. So on the Dundee Road, we do have a track switch um, which allows trains to go from the inner loop to the outer loop at the north end of the layout. And to do that, I have points arranged in this sort of manner. And as you can see, we've got a warning telling us that the points are too near. And the reason the points are too near is because we need to put in our, our buttons that allow us to actually control the point. As you can see, that's, that's the buttons in there. So you need to add, even though there, there may not be a piece of track in between, you need to add this additional piece of track, which gives Real Master the space to operate. So there we are, and I'll add in my so as you can see that is slightly longer in track measurements than what would be there properly in in real life in fact this section is quite short it's just two sets of, of people points and as you can see it allows trains to switch and we can set this to be on the type of controller that we have and for this I will use the Hornby, if I can find it in the list, there we go. Start position. And we don't have any routes set up. So what we'll do is we'll just set this up and then we'll just test So these are um, opposite of each other. So when one point is operated, the other one will, will also switch in. So we'll just save this as done the road. And we'll just save that just now. And we can close this 
and now we'll be able to load Dundee Road. as our default. And there we go, that's set Dundee Road. And as you can see, I got the points. Now controlling a single one. But what will be wired in as well will be the additional point motor will be wired the opposite way around so that when this is operated both switches will change. So now we can go back into edit mode and start adding everything else that we have on the layout. And we'll need to load Dundee Road. And that brings up what we've done so far. And what I find easier to do is to put in a number of pieces into this that, that corner and then work my way from those pieces. When I know how many pieces I need, I'll count out how many pieces I want to put in. At the moment, I'm just putting in to represent roughly the type of space that I have on the layout. It's not exact, as I say, it's just a representation of what we have on the layout. So I need another one. Okay, so we'll now do the corners. So to do a corner, we need the external ring to be slightly longer. Again, as you can see, this is not representation of all of our corners because we have, if you're using set track or flexi track, um, the, the distance would, would be different to any any measurement that the real master would put in. So the first bit is to have our external corner and then coming round to straight. And the same again, as you can see, to make this fit, it's not exactly representation of a flexi track or any set track. Again, just for this one, we need to add in oh, we've done the wrong piece, so we'll just de delete that piece. And again, we'll just pop that in and that goes there. Again, I know I need two pieces to go to make the ends. So that, that's one section of my layout. That is actually one board um, of the, the four boards that I have. And that has the, the switch round for switching tracks. And now for the station, I have another switch. which gives me three platforms. And then on that, I just have a curved piece of track. So again, I've just loaded that little square with a few pieces of track that I will need for this.
and this can be quite time consuming to build up your layout but again it's just getting a rough idea of length space and then we have our return into our point and point to that one There we are, as you can see, we've now got our station platforms laid out. And I'll just put the control in for point and the control in for the point down here. And then, of course, we're going to have some signals signals for each of the lines and again some signals for each of the lines either end of the platforms the good thing about Realmaster is you don't have to actually have these signals to make it work um, the signals could just be symbolic on the, the track plan So even though there's no LEDs sitting there changing colour to, to determine whether the line is free running or is set at danger, having them in the software will still control as if they were there properly. So now we're on to the end board and again we need to have slightly longer As I say, this is not a quick process, um, but what we can do now is we can actually count the number of pieces that we need. And just, just having them placed at the top there just means that I can pull them and drag them a bit quicker this end being the countryside end is just free running lines
And as you can see, all I'm doing is making the representation of my layout. And that's us back into the corner. And there I can see exactly how many of these straight pieces I need, so I just counted out four. And that completes that line. There we go, and we'll just remove that extra set of switches by using the little recycling icon down here. And that's the basic layout now set up. So that's three, and that's on the Hornby. And start position left. So now we can save that by hitting the checkbox and because we've saved it already we want to overwrite and then we can close this and then we should reload and be able to change so as you can see they're set to being straight um, when they're straight, the opposite ones will also be straight. And we can set our signals by clicking on them. And even though these aren't set up with a decoder, um, the signals on the in the software will stop the train. So that rounds up this video on actually laying out your layout on Railmaster. It's just a case of putting everything down in an order which looks like your layout, not exact lengths, and getting it to, to work. You will find that when you're putting points in that you need space for Railmaster to actually um, control. So it's just making sure you've got enough space for these little icons to, to go in. And that's it. That's uh, how simple it is Real Master is to set up. In the next video, I'm going to start adding in some um, locos and show you how to do that using the, the built-in locos and uh, taking pictures and uploading them and adding your own ones that you've either put DCC chips in um, or are from Bachman or another manufacturer. Hope you're liking this little series. Um, haven't seen anyone really go into depth for, for Railmaster. So if there is anything that you want me to go over and, and look at, then I, I will do. Thank you.